All right, I'm Jesse Fremer, and I live here in Amarillo now for 53 years, 54 years. I came from Grapevine, Texas, and moved into this area and loved the four seasons that Amarillo provides. But I also like the politics of Amarillo because Amarillo's politics are are more in concert with uh, a more country style living from uh, metropolitan areas like the Fort Worth, Dallas area. So getting involved in the politics, I've met people that have gone and involved themselves with the city council. And Claudette was one of those people that I met in council meetings and she was arguing along with her friends situations regarding the, uh, the, way, the application of ordinances and other issues before the council. And I was arguing issues like the convention center and like the uh, drainage fee and like the, uh, the building of a, of a parking garage or the building of an embassy suite. I was arguing those issues against the council's decisions under the Harpo administration. So I watched Claudette and I watched her friends, but I watched them because they were arguing for their cases before the council and they were trying to get the time and recognition as to their issues. Now Claudette's a young woman, she's a 34 year old young woman, she has two children and uh, I think it's commendable that this young lady wants to take on the responsibility of being the mayor of our city. We do have older people that have run our city but I like to see more youth in our, our government and I'm an older person and I respect her for her willingness to subject herself to this. So I'm working to try to get her elected and then we're going to try to push her to listen to the people because we've lost that conversation. The uh, present council has limited us to Zoom conversation. They have prevented us from actually meeting with the council except at that obtuse hours for people that work outside, the, outside of uh, eight to five hours. I'm retired so I can go to those meetings but in going to those meetings I've been subjected to um, somewhat disingenuous uh, feelings from the council as far as my value to the community. And in that problem, I would like to change the council uh, concentration right now and bring in this fresh new voice that has fought against the council for different issues. So I'm going to support Claudette and uh, I think we have some other fine candidates that are running. I have no problem with them, but you can only ride with one horse for the mayor, and I'm choosing Claudette as my, as my person. We all have a right to that decision. I er, er, earnestly urge all those out there to really review the candidates. Get yourself online. Go to the Dan Rogers websites to listen to interviews. Go to some of the other websites to listen to the interviews of these candidates and form your own opinion. I mean, that's, but you gotta go vote. We can't allow 12% of the population to register our definition of who should run our city. We need to get 50, 60% of our population voting. So please, that would be my biggest request. Get out and vote. Report your finding as to who you think would best lead our city in the direction you want our city to go. Support Claudette. Let's see if we can get another person to represent our views at the city council level.